So when you go to Kite Zerodha, you'll enter your username and password and then enter the PIN number. And once you enter the PIN number, it will take you to the main page. A little tip on the password. Keep your password as something which reminds you of your mission. That is why you have opened this DMAT account. Keep it as something like grow my net worth or grow my money. Something which can remind you of why you opened this account. It was not to have fun, but to grow money. And don't save the password in the system. Type it in so that every time you type it, you're reminded of your mission and it really works. So after you log in, you'll see this main page and let's start off with dashboard. Now dashboard will give you the information about how much funds you hold, what are your holdings doing currently, how much profit you're making. Then the order tab will have a list of all the orders that you have executed or canceled. Holding will have the information about all your shares that you hold in your DMAT account. Position tab will show you all the open positions that you have currently. The fund tab will have all the information about the funds that are available, the margin that's available to you, and the available cash and the margin that you've used so far. And then the apps tab will have a list of all the apps that Zerodha has to offer. So I have a couple of DMAT accounts. Now, one account is to generate income from long-term portfolio and trading income. And this income that I generate from the long-term portfolio and trading goes to another DMAT account and I invest this income. And that other portfolio that I have in this other DMAT account, the acquisition cost of that portfolio is zero as it is from my trading income. Now, on the left-hand side, you have the watch list and you can have up to five watch lists. So you can, you can go on to any of the watch list and add the stocks that you want to add. Okay. And you can have up to 50, you can add up to 50 stocks in one watch list. So let's just start afresh. You can just click on any, let's just click on the fifth one. And let me, let me just uh, click on fourth. It's all empty. So let's say if I want to type in Nifty, I just type Nifty here and I get Nifty Future. I can select multiple things in one go and then if I just click outside somewhere, it'll show me that. Now let's say if I also wanted Nifty Bank, now this is the cash Nifty, it'll show me that. And let's say if I also wanted to add a, a stock, let's say if I wanted to add Reliance, I can click on Reliance, select Reliance and I can even look at Reliance Future. So let's type Reliance Future, F-U-T. And this will show you all the options that are available. Let's say we wanted to see the September Future. So click on it and it'll show you the value of it. Now you can simply buy from here. Let's say you wanted to also buy ETFs. ETF is exchange traded fund. So all you got to do is just type ETF. And it'll give you all the options that are available. Now, let's say you want to cut down the options. What you do is you go here, type in Nifty ETF. Let's say if that is what we were investing into. Nifty ETF will give you all the options here. Let's say if you wanted to invest in this one, Nippon Nifty. All you do is click on plus or you can simply buy and sell as well from here. Let's just add this first. So if we add this and click outside, you'll see this here. Let's say if you wanted to also add a bank Nifty. ETF. So what you do is type Nifty Bank ETF and you'll have a couple of options here. Let's say if you wanted to select this one, SBI ETF. This is a Bank Nifty ETF. You can, you can buy it from here. Now let's say if you wanted to buy this. So how do you do this? So all you got to do is, let's say if I wanted to buy Nifty Bees. So I go on it and click on buy. And when I do that, it will show me a little window. It'll ask me for the quantity that I want to buy and the price. So Nifty ETF or any ETF for that matter is just like a mutual fund only. It also has NAV just like mutual fund. So that NAV currently is trading at 119. Now if you go to Nifty Bees, let's say, and you, if you wanted to get some more information about it, what you can do is you can just take your mouse cursor on it 
and you can buy it sell it from here you can get the market depth it'll show you the the bid price the offer price it'll show you the high for the day low for the day so let's say if you want to buy reliance you can go here you can buy it from here you can sell it from here this will tell you about the market depth open high low close but it'll tell you where the buyer is standing where is the seller is standing first you can open the chart from here as well you click here you'll be able to open the chart here and you can delete it from here by clicking here now if you click here on more this will give you some more information you can click on fundamentals it'll give you some information about it you can click on technicals to get some more information about it if you click here on chart this will open the chart for you and this will pop out the chart and will open it for you on a different window so you click here this will open up on a different window like this you can open any other chart as well so let's say if you also wanted to open bank nifty's chart you click here on more and go and click here and you'll be able to open two different charts here so one is for reliance and the other one is for bank nifty now let's say you want to buy an etf here what you do is you click on nifty nifty bees and click on buy so this window will give you regular order, cover order, bracket order, AMO, which is after market order. And it'll give you two options here. So we'll be talking about regular here. For cover and bracket, I'll make another video. So here what we do is, so you have two options here. One is intraday, one is long term CNC, cash and carry. So in case if you just want to trade in intraday, you want to, don't want to carry on the position overnight, you can click here and this position in case if you don't square it off the system will uh, square off the position around 310 315 and if you want to carry on with this position let's say if you want to buy it for long term or even for a day you want to keep this share in your portfolio you click on long term and specify the quantity that you want so let's say if i want 100 nifty bees and this will tell you the current price you can let's say if i want to buy it at 118 i can specify that because this is the limit price i'm telling the system at what price i want to buy it now if the price falls to 118 this order will get executed now if you want to execute this order at whatever price that is available you can click on market price so whatever price that is available which is you know the the bid price or the offer price since we are buying here, we'll be looking at where is the seller standing at, okay? And then that order will get executed at whatever price the seller is standing at or the seller wants. And if we go for limit, I'll, I'll suggest you go for a limit order, not the market order. So click on limit and specify the, the amount, the price at which you want to acquire this share or this Nifty Bs. So if it's trading at 119.92, you can specify that price. And this would execu get executed as soon as this price reaches around this level, right? Plus you have stop loss order and you have, you know, the other information as well. And we'll be talking about all these other features in our next video. Now for now, it will also tell you about the margin that would be required. So if I'm buying 100 shares or 100 quantity for this Nifty Bs, at this price, I would require this much amount. Now, if I, if I double it, let's say if I want 200, then it will show you the margin required for it, okay? Now, if I change this to intraday, it will calculate the new margin because I'm not going to take it to the next day. The order will be squared off the same day. The margin requirement will be far lesser. But if you're carrying it with you, then you need the full margin. Since I want to carry it with me and I want to keep it in my DMAT account, the margin requirement would be much higher. It'll be 200 into the price that I specify. Now if I specify 110 and recalculate this, this would change. So 200 into 210 would be 22,000. In order to execute this order, I would require 22,000 rupees. Now if I click on buy, then this order will go to the order window. And as soon as the price reaches 110, from 119 in case if it drops to 110 then this order will get executed otherwise it would not similarly if you want to sell it let's say if i hold it in my dmat and i want to sell it now 
So what I can do is I can go to holding and I can sell it from here or I can simply go and click on nifty bees let's say if I, this is what I wanted to sell or let's say if I had reliance and I wanted to sell reliance now this is what I'll do I'll click on sell specify the quantity that I want to sell at what price I want to sell it if you select the market order then whatever rate the buyer is standing at it will execute it at that level but I would not recommend the market order so you specify the price you click on limit specify the price and you will be able to sell it okay you just need to click on sell this order will go to the order window and as soon as uh, the price reaches whatever level that you have specified this order will get executed okay so this is how you can actually buy and sell you can buy ETF you can buy any share that you want so I'll be talking about the other features in my next video so watch out for that